Well, folks, guess what day it is? Saturday Live. Saturday, which means it's Saturday Live. It's exactly right. With Kim and Steve. Yeah. Well, today we are in my environment. <laughs> We're in the garage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in the garage. In the garage. This, is, this is Steve's uh, home. This is his home. Man cave. So, uh, <laughs> we have had a few. Here, by a the way. We've had a no. I'm only allowed to the door. You got in a here. permit to come in here today to actually film. That's it. I got you on a permit. I got to charge it on the gate. You know. And just, yes. Yeah. You're on a permit. But um, oh, last, Lillian White is watching. Lillian's watching. Last, well, I was going to say last fall, but this fall, yeah, earlier, early. a few months ago, we did a post about a boat that Steve bought. Oh yeah. It was just a fiberglass shell. It's still a fiberglass and, shell. And his in <laughs> his intent was to to finish the boat. So, yeah. we but it's a winter project. We have had several people asking about how's the boat coming on? How's the boat coming on? So, today we decided to do an update on the boat and let you know how the boat is doing, how the project is working out. Yes. So, we're in the garage. The boat is not outside anymore. We brought it inside because with all the leaves and everything falling oh, in, the winter coming, it'd be too big of a mess. Yeah. So, we're yeah. inside. Yeah. And I'm going to pan around and Steve is going to give you the update of what he's been doing and how he's doing it and what he's planning on doing because yeah. I don't even know. So I'm oh, going really? to be filming today. Okay, good. So I'm going to turn the camera around yeah. and first of all, this is the boat. It's in the garage. It's in the garage. And totally in the garage. This is Steve. Yeah. So, so take, take it care. away. Oh yeah. So Tell us care. what you're doing. So what we're going to do, well, what I've been doing and what the project is is now we've got to build the inside of this boat because it's a because it's just shell. a shell right now. Right, so we got to build the inside. So really, so let's show them first because the last time there was all kinds of wood and everything in oh there. Yeah. Well, it's cleaned out, but there's a lot of mess in there. So it is cleaned out. There is currently no wood yeah. in here, yeah. and he has got it tied to the ceiling. Yeah. So this so is the biggest big boat to roll. And this is a bit of a a rockabye baby yeah, thing it's, because it's but it's, good. it's pretty solid. It's yep. Homemade. It's swinging from the rafters, literally. So it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. It's supported underneath. Okay. Anyway. So all this stuff that's in the boat, what's that? Well, Kim's brother came up, and Rod, and he gave me a hand to cut all these pieces out. So what we've got to do now is right here where these pots are, uh, we've got to put fiberglass panels across here and make these solid. Solid all the way across. And then you got to apply the glass all over the top of this as well. And you're going to fill it with foam, maybe? Well, one section, well, probably two sections might get filled with foam. Okay. Just so that if anything ever happened, the bolt goes under, it will still float. So it's some flotation you put in there. Plus, right up in the front, I got to deck over some of that. Okay, let me come around a little bit so I can so see I can what you're talking see. about. So. Well, there was a deck there, but you got yeah, all that ripped out. That. So that's all gone. Yeah, so we've got to deck this front area and put a step up there. Okay, right and, now there's uh, very little. Very little. Just, so okay. that's the panel for right here, all cut up. This is the panel for right here. So this is fiberglass. This is fiberglass. So it's, Two kinds of fiberglass. Yeah, so you got this stuff, which is just weave. Yeah. And you've got the mat, which is this other stuff, right? So you put, well, two or three layers of this, a layer of this, so many layers of this. And Where that makes it, is, it... That gives you the strength. That gives you the, the strength boat. in the boat. Right. Okay. So when I do this up here, I'm going to put some foam up there too, so that'd be more flotation. Okay. Plus, i got to fill in this, fill this keel in. So that's the channel down in the middle. It's hollow. You know, it's it's hollow, so you're going to fill that with so, fiberglass and mixture with some other yeah, stuff. I mean, bits and pieces of stuff that I'm not using now, right? So, okay. So that's, that's that section. Then this is this section. This one right here on the floor of the boat. That's going to be a one that's going to go across here. So that's a bigger section? Yes. Because that's where all the fish is going to go. This is where the fish go. Yeah. Yeah. And what's that called? The Mr. Bay. <laughs> so. Okay, Mr. Mr. Fisherman. So, what else? Yeah, I'm not a fisherman. <laughs> You're yeah. the boat builder. And of course, the guy that owned this boat before, yes. he made a mistake. He yes. cut the counter down to 16. And feet. what's the counter? Right there, transom. Okay, so that's where the boat, the motor, motor goes on. on there. So the motor boat's on there. Yeah, but right now he's got to cut down, that it's a pond boat, which is no good. That's so gotta, you got to build it up. So I've already done a piece of fiberglass here. Okay. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take a mold out of here. 
That's going to go in there. And build it up higher. Up to six to 20 inches. Okay. okay. Yep. So we build that up. Now, old bunch of fiberglass. We're going to redo this counter completely. The and you need to, need to strengthen it. Oh, probably 10, 12 layers are going to go in there. Okay. And then we've got to call it what's called a flush box in here. And if, what's a flush box? So a flush box is when you're out. You're doing, this boat is going to be tiller handle. So your outboard motor has got a tiller handle on it. Yep. Steering. And it goes and right there. Towel. Yes. And when you're out in the boat and it's rough, like seasick weather, that kind of weather. Oh, yeah. You're perfect weather. Yeah, I'm in that kind of weather. That yes, kind of yes. Weather, what happens is the waves will come towards the back of the boat. Yes. And they'll come in over. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a flush box, which is just a bin right here with holes drilled out, so the water comes in, then drains back out. Yeah. The water comes into the boat and you could swamp. So we don't want that. Yeah, oh my gosh. Sink. Oh my gosh. Right? What was all that? It was just, so, just a bit of stuff. So all the fiberglass is cut to make all your panels? So fiberglass is cut to make the trunk. This one, this one. And I've got part of this one done. So. And so what's all those? Someone might be wondering just in case. What's all those white things stuck to the side of the boat? That's the risins for the gunnels. It's the risins. And what's risins? It's where the... Rises attach. So it's where so it's the blocks really for the rise. It's the blocks for the risings. So that's where you tie your rope on to tie your boat on. So it's like a piece of board that's gonna go attached all the way up yeah, and all the way down. The whole there and, all the way back. and what's the gunnels? Well the, the gunnels are not on this boat yet. They're not on it yet. But the gunnels go bolted on right here. And they go on bolted the there. So that's to take that rough edge off, give you a nice smooth oh. finish. And some are the jig. And some are the jig. So what okay. do you do? Make the panels yep. that we're making now. Explain the process. Start over here. Oh. And so, because the fiberglass is based on temperature, you have to have a little chart. So you got your temperature you chart? You go to your local pharmacy and you get one of these. Oh, maybe you shouldn't say that. <laughs> you buy one. Oh, okay. You buy one of these big syringes so and you measure stuff out. And then you steal you your wife's. These. You steal your wife's bread pan. You're buying everything else, but you steal your you wife's steal bread pan. Your wife's bread pan because that's what you're going to mix the fiberglass up in. And it's the perfect because size, apparently. You can, uh, then crack it and take out the stuff that you don't need. Oh. And then you get one of these. Yes. And uh, it's just a, a brush. It won't work. So you get it all mixed up. Yep. And then you take it like this. Then you come over here. Oh, and we've got stations set up over here. No, Man, we got the production. The place here is a countertop, a bar countertop that we were actually going to put in the house. Yeah. You stole it. I stole it. It's now so this was my laundry room countertop. <laughs> yep. Even had cut out for the washer and the dryer. Oh yeah. And um, now see, it's now it's a boat building fiberglass table. table maker thingy. Yeah. It's probably the most expensive one there's around. Yes, I would say it is. Yeah, probably. So it's what do you good. do? It. Why is this thing perfect? And I had to yeah, lose it and perfect. sacrifice it. I can fiberglass on this, make the panels, and then we can release them. So this panel has already been released. So what we do is we take the tub, we come over here, we lay down a layer. Yeah, but what do you got to do to prep the countertop first? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll show you that after. Oh. Because i got to do this one. Oh, okay. So, so when you make the panel. panel that's been done. Okay. Right? And so when it's done, then you just pop. This one's already come off. It lifts up. It's pretty easy. You lift it up. And then on the back side, it's super smooth. Yep. So you can see. It's very smooth. Right? A bit rougher on this side. Yep. And then this will become one of the panels that goes down in the boat. Now you got a bunch of cutting to do. So you got to trim it. Fit, yes. Right? But this is what's going to happen. And so that will go underneath those pieces of board that span across from side You're to right. side. And then yes. And those panel. have already been measured to fit well, mostly. Height with and you just got to trim them up to fit them in. Make the shape of the bolt on them, right? We have to shape them. Yeah. So okay. Them so now. When you do, well, if you have Teflon table, you're good. You don't have to do anything. This is not a Teflon table. This is just a regular countertop. So what I use on this one is just plain little turtle wax. So this is the basics of uh, boat building 101. You just put a bit of turtle wax on. Turtle wax on my countertop. Turtle wax on the countertop. Am I getting this countertop back after? Oh, yes. No problem. Put this one in the kitchen when we're finished. Yes. Sure. I got a feeling this is going to become a different table, but... This is a... I'll make something else for you out of it or something. Oh, yeah. You're so yeah, sweet. jewelry box. Yeah, sure. Out of a countertop. <laughs> You're sweet. And then you just wipe it all down with this. And now the trick is you just leave this, let this dry in. And so you've got a film over the entire 
countertop. Countertop. And then when it dries and in, what do you do then? Roll on the fresh fiberglass. On this now, you take another layer. So we take layers of this. We start it with this. Yep. We wet this down with fiberglass. Yep. And then we lay it on a layer of... And then you soak it again. Soak it again. Another Brittany, layer. Brittany's Cookie watching, in. and she says Another you layer. can't make cookies on that countertop anymore. Why not? <laughs> perfect. Oh, you crazy man! So what's hanging up over there? So this is the rolls of fiberglass box. You got Jimmy rigged together there. Oh yeah, this is the compliments of Mr. Fudge. Oh yeah, he he helped you mess that up, did he? And so we got this up. And oh yeah. It's like a big quilting shop. That's what we got going on here now. Oh, I see. Yeah, so it's all kinds of stuff. Right? I so see. When all this gets put together. So this is, oh yeah, it's terribly messy. And you don't want to get that hair on anything or around you. Oh no, it sticks on everything. It sticks to everything. Hence, we have a tarp on the floor. Yep. And we have a shop back right there. Oh, and this is a, quite the little contraption well, that's for. That's my a, mother's uh, shelf that I was supposed to sell for. Yeah, you've confiscated the shelf. <laughs> not selling the shelf, Mother so Dearest. Use it for her. Uh, <laughs> So when Aunt Ruby looks at this, and she's probably going to show mom the video, she's on Facebook, but uh, and, she, and she's going to say, she's "Marilyn, gonna say, he got your shelf." Marilyn's using your shelf for storage for fiberglass. <laughs> yeah, that was a good deal. Yes, yeah. you didn't sell it after all. It was in the way, so I haven't even posted it online yet. But. Okay, so that is the update on the boat. We've made some progress. Um, <clears throat> it should be noted. How did you get the boat in the garage? Oh, it was a tag team effort. And what? Another driver on the side by side, dragging mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. That was me. And pulled it over the pallets. That would be me. And then we got a, a come along winch, hooked it to the ceiling. Yes. Dragged it in through here. Had a rope going all the way back to the side by side outside. And a snatch block. And a snatch block up there, and pulled her in. Pulled it in. Who needs a trailer? Nobody needs a trailer. <laughs> you just need some snatch blocks and some ropes. Joey's watching. We got a, quite a few people watching. Brittany was watching. So anyway, this um, is, uh, yeah, so Joey's watching from Alberta. Hey, Joey, this is how you build a boat. So we're going to be, once we get this done, once I get all the panels made, then we got to cut them all out. they got to go in place, and then i got to get in the boat and fiberglass inside the boat. Yes, but it's easier to do the panels beforehand. Oh, yeah, much easier. Do the panels outside, then you can cut the panels, and then you make the panels into the, into the boat. Right onto those sticks that are there. Yeah, you just lay them, on, lay them up against there. They get laid up against the side. And then now you've got a fiberglass, more fiberglass. you got to fiberglass those panels to the boat. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Well, yeah. quite the production. Yeah, it is. Um, so this is your winter's project. Yeah. And. Uh, got more. i got all kinds of projects. Yeah. Yes, we got a few projects on yeah. the go. But we wanted to get this one started. Well, this is my weekend project, right? So. Yeah. This is your weekends that were not in Morton's Harbor. Yeah. And that we were not fishing, yes. and we were not down with Rod yes. at the cabin yes. or doing whatever else. Yes. There's not a whole lot of weekends left. Nope. So we'll have this finished in 2032, I figure. No, we won't. We're going to have this done before that. <laughs> Don't be silly. Okay, folks. It's going to work. I think that's the update, and that's what we're doing. And for all those that were asking about the boat and how everything was going, then this is it. It's so, still a work in progress, but it's going to work. I'm confident, totally, 100%. Yeah, I can't wait to see this thing go in the water. Oh, it's yeah, a bigger it's boat bigger. than what we have right now. Oh, much, bigger. much bigger. So yeah. the plan was to do this one up and sell it. Um, plans changed. Yep, yeah. kind of. This is not going to be sold now, is it? Uh, well, I don't know. No, that's what you're saying because the plan was when I agreed to buy it, I said it will be sold. Yeah, so you're, you're flipping on me. Things change. Yes, mostly you. Yeah, well, I figured, you know, I'm... I've taken on a new role in the business. I am now treasurer, remember? <laughs> so I'm figuring as treasurer, I could probably write this off as some type of business expense. <laughs> yeah. So if you've been watching our page this week, you know yeah. we've been doing some go lives about the business. And, um, Advertise from the boat. That's what I'll do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you go. So he has been... Um, boat advertising. Yeah, so this week we've been doing go-lives on our business page, the same page as this, and uh, talking about the business. I could get a deckle. <laughs> I wanted to this and he was supposed to be the silent partner this in this business. business. Sometime this week, yes. he decided that he was now going to be the treasurer. Be awesome. Now he's going to write the boat off as an expense. You're a piece of work you were. 
So George is watching. George, I haven't heard from you forever in a day. So good to see you. And Lillian is watching. And I don't know. There's a bunch of people watching. To everybody that has been watching, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. And Monday morning, don't forget to tune in to our business page at 10 o'clock. We're doing uh, five more days of live for our business. So you won't want to miss those. All kinds of important information. And who knows what promotion Steve's going to give himself yeah. next week. Well, I mean, there's all kinds of positions open. <laughs> right? You're crazy. Like okay. You're in HR, you're in trouble. No, oh, you're not getting into HR. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, folks, that's it for today. I think, uh, anything else you want to say? Nope, I'm good. Yeah, You're good? This is an awesome day. Awesome. Okay, yeah. that's all for today. Anyway, your time is pretty much up here now. I'm going to have to escort you off the premises. Oh, I'm not allowed yeah, out in this place. You're on a permit, remember? <laughs> and it's expiring. Yes, it is. You're on a time limit permit. Sorry. <laughs> and you don't have proper PPE on either to be in here, by the way. No. <laughs> and you do. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm guiding you through that. so that you don't <laughs> injure yourself. I I'm being escorted so I'm out. Have to so escort this is you done. <laughs> so it's time for you to leave now. You yes. can go in and play with your Christmas tree or whatever else you got in there. <laughs> you know, all those Christmas things that you do. Okay, we're done. But anyway, we're over and out. We're out of here. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. See you Monday.